Today we're going to be uh, removing the carpet on this uh, 991 GT3. The process should be similar, but obviously there will be more uh, more things you need to do on a uh, regular 991 with uh, rear seats. So the carpet it composes of this rear deck, which is held on by those two um, tie downs, and then this rubber piece here. So the rubber piece, uh, from my understanding, basically, let me go ahead and position this light right there, okay. So you can see it comes off just pretty easily, just like that. We'll put that aside. And uh, next thing is a uh, hole, hole there, which, uh, appears to be for the uh, let's go ahead and try to undo that okay so I can't do it with my hand I'm going to try to do it with a uh, screwdriver here okay so going to try to push this in somehow it should lift off there we go just like that. Okay, so inside we have a, um, a bolt that looks like a 13 millimeter. So I'm gonna grab a 13 millimeter from my understanding and undo that to see if we can get this this uh, center section piece off, which I think is basically comes down. Well, we will see, but let's see if these bottom ones come off. Up to their attach or not, we'll find out in a second here. Yeah, that was a 13 millimeter, but you need a long head a socket wrench. Um, I don't know what they call it, but otherwise, you could try to wing it with something else. So that comes off. I'm gonna put that back here and uh, let's tell them see if there's any kind of movements here. anywhere else uh, all right I'm um, not, not entirely sure all right, here we go. all right well I moved on to the back here because I'm not sure what's going on down here what what if anything is holding it down I don't want to break anything so I'm gonna try to take the rear deck lid off here and basically just use this pry tool wrapped in some electrical electrical tip to maybe soften it up a little bit. I don't want to scratch anything. It looks like there's a little little clamps on the sides there. And it just comes right out like that. Alright, just gotta be careful so you don't break these. Otherwise you're gonna have to go buy another one. Alright, so that's that. Put that aside. That's what that looks like. Um, I don't think that's bolted to the actual carpet. Could be wrong, but anyways, let's move over to that side. All right, this is the back piece. I'm going to just pull on that and it just popped right out. I guess there is, well, that holding it. It's kind of sticky there. Kind of weird, huh? Wonder why. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's that. And uh, looks like those tabs go in the holes. Okay, so that comes out easy. Um, you take that and put that outside the car. This piece is kind of scary, but you basically it's Velcroed on there. So once you loosen that bolt, you just gotta keep on pulling in the sides, left and right, slowly till, till it comes out. It feels a lot more scary than it is, 
but you can see the Velcro right there. And here it is. All right, with that removed, um, removing the uh, the center piece right here, I just pulled up from the center and bent it so it slides up from the corners there. Um, it's pretty tough, but I'm trying to do it without scratching anything. But again, the reason I'm trying to get under here is I'm gonna apply some sound deadening in these areas where it's near the engine because uh, I got loud exhaust and uh, it's getting cool out. So that's the idea. This gives you a pretty good idea how it looks. So it comes with this uh, cheap, I don't know, some kind of foam material there. This is the area, I think, which is right above the exhaust engine area um, where you really, I think I want to hit, is this foam piece. And then this area right here, this little crack. Um, you know, the foam, the factory on the GT3 is, 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 I mean, it does have quite a bit of foam on there already. I mean, you can, you can kind of see it. Um, it's quite a bit of thickness of natural foam. So I, I was going to do under the seats here. I think I'm going to let that slide. But back here is, uh, I think it's fair game. Um, you can see that. This thing is, I don't know, it's kind of, this thing's kind of stupid. It does something probably, but, uh, I don't know what the heck that is. It came off from something. So yeah, uh, this is what we're working with. Looks like somebody glued this in here. It's weird, weird. So on that side too. Yeah, so that's what we're working with. I'm gonna do a sound test and a different video uh, showing uh, that uh, if, the uh, kill mat stuff I'm using is going to make a difference or not. We shall see. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick uh, video showing if uh, before and after, if that uh, kill mat stuff, if I apply some back there, let's say 10 pounds worth or so, if that's going to reduce anything with, uh, and I'm, I'm going to do it with this open so there'll be no before the before and after be identical except just with the kill mat material which is like 50 millimeter ru uh, rubber material um, do I have a sound meter here um, it's not the highest end model but it will work the doors will be closed um, this car does have an aftermarket exhaust it has a um, RSS center section and the valves have been uh, disconnected so they're open so it's extremely loud and low RPM and this is something I'm trying to resolve. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep the variables identical. Every everything will be the same. The, uh, the meter I will hold it in the same section. Okay, so we can I don't know you can see that number right there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start the vehicle, and then we're gonna put the kill mats on there, and then do it again. So see if we can get any um, uh, reduction. Uh, obviously, when you start the car, it's louder. So you know we'll be we're looking at all those numbers as as we go through it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it in the same same section. I don't want any vibration to come on this, so I'm, I might might prefer to hold it so there's no vibration. And set the camera right here. Hopefully, it picks it up. Okay. So here we go. Now I'll just say the numbers as we go. Um, here we go. Let's go ahead and turn it on and off. It's going to auto adjust. It's just like a few seconds into it. It's in the center console angle. It's about 80 degrees. The exhaust is quieted down a little bit. Say 77. I want to 
a slow setting. And the engine is definitely warming up, so it's gonna get quieter. Basically coming getting down to seventies. there and we're going to ver verify this with the next the after. First thing we're going to do is clean off all the surfaces. So all the surfaces we're going to apply to right there and right here in the top lid. Uh, we're going to clean it off with alcohol real clean and then we'll position and start applying and cutting. Um, I got six sheets with me right now which is not much. Um, you know, I don't want to overdo it. It does weigh each sheet weighs about I think a one third of a pound. It's not a lot. I mean, even if you had 10 pounds, it's not a huge deal. If you can help with the decibels. Now that everything is wiped with alcohol and clean, I'm going to go ahead and position my first one. Again, you can do it in different ways. I'm going to try to do the best way I can do so I can use big pieces. Um, so less cutting and more uniform. So I'm going to do the first one, I'm going to go like that on this corner right here and then hopefully you have to make another cut on that side another one in the back corner corner piece here piece here and work with that we're applying it so probably want to get a roller but kind of using my hands here um, make sure it's nice and smooth anything but we will find out I oh, just wasted some time and some money but we do have a video showing the decibels in the same setup everything in the same position I will have it so there's no variables to say otherwise the engine is going to be the cold start again it's going to be completely cold so that's number one It's going to continue anyway. You know, you could probably double layer. This stuff is not that heavy. If you buy a thicker one, maybe. I'm not even sure what frequency it will block, but um, I'm sure it blocks in certain different frequencies. You can hear some resonance right there. You don't want that. Here you can see a technique of applying it you can remove the paper slowly as you go down so it doesn't stick and create a big bubble in the center especially in a tight area back there which you can't reach real well uh, you don't want to mess it up and pull it back out again so just go slowly put some muscle into it and you're good okay so i end up using seven sheets uh which really doesn't weigh that much and um, some areas do have double right here for example um, the reason it's, the center is the most susceptible to vibration uh, just because it's weaker the corners are stronger so you're gonna get more to sound uh, resonating from the center area it's kind of like a speaker uh, so we have that covered up it, you know what you can do knock tests and you can hear that it has changed its tone 
is it going to affect the uh, outcome of the uh, SPL meter, the sound meter? I don't know. It could just help with road noise. Um, is it going to do something? Sure. Is it worth the extra, let's say it's an extra uh, three pounds we put on here? Three pounds, four pounds, whatever. Don't know. Doesn't matter. Not really. On an exhaust, you lose about 20 pounds. Say you even add 10, 10 pounds back. Is it a big deal? Um, as long as you want your uh, exhaust note not to be ridiculous inside and you just want it to sound good outside. So, again, you could layer this one more time. I definitely am not doing that. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it. Uh, this area is right behind, uh, the engine is behind here somewhere. And under this, um, it has to be. So, you're going to get a lot of noise from this area. And, you know, the looser the surface is, you can see it moves, um, the more the sound will come through that area than a really, you know, hard corner. So, we'll see how it sounds. All right, same exact setup. Here we go. Not seeing any difference really at this point. It does appear that it's going down to the 69s when it didn't do that before. I do feel like it's slightly quieter. So I guess maybe one decibel, but even if it's one decibel for three pounds, I think it's worth it. Here it is uh, again, I'm doing it in, uh, I had it in slow, I had it in fast, now it's in slow. 